I've devoted about the last five years of my life to photographing the detritus of American mass consumption and mass culture. Um, and uh, this morning I want to share with you some of the images that I've made. Um, and uh, I'm actually going to go through those fairly quickly because I, I also want to speak about uh, sort of a, a broad perspective about the sustainability movement um, and, um, and mass consumption and how the electronics industry fits in there, at least in my own view. I'm going to start with a photograph of cell phone chargers. This is from a series that I did called Intolerable Beauty. And this was, these were straight photographs. Um, I made these with a regular camera, uh, and I'd go to these places where, where tens of thousands of tons of cell phones and, and computers and so on get processed. This is one that I made that I wanted to look like you're flying over a, a dark city. Uh, and as you get up close, you see that it's lots of computer hard drives. Circuit boards. And this image is probably the best known one from that series. I made it at a cell phone processing facility. And when I showed the, this series, and of course there are lots of pictures that, uh, in that series that I, I haven't brought here. I just showed you the ones that relate to e-waste directly. When I showed and, and exhibited and talked about this series in public, um, I always found myself using statistics as a way of kind of backing up the images and, and trying to more effectively depict and portray and illustrate the, the real scale of American mass consumption. And every time I did that, I got this little tweak in the back of my mind that, that what I'm trying to do with these photographs is to, is to show the scale of American mass consumption, and yet I'm having to use statistics to kind of bolster the message behind it. And I wondered, is there a way to, to go further with it, to actually, I, I wish there was a way to depict the actual quantities of the things we consume. Because the true scale of our consumption is something that's invisible. There's no way to photograph it. There's no way you can go and see the 20,600,000 barrels of oil that we burn in the US every day. Or all of the container ships from all over the world that are headed our way with all of our new furniture and our imported wine and so on. There's nowhere you can go and see the, the, the total amount of garbage that we generate in the US every day because it's divided out into thousands and tens of thousands of manufacturing processes and waste streams and so on. And so this enormous problem that we face of our, our growing runaway consumption, it's something that's invisible to us. We can only relate to it through, through statistics and by reading about it, but there's nowhere you can see it. And so with my next series, what I wanted to do was figure out a way to depict the actual scale of our consumption. And what I decided to do is, is to try to combine digital imaging, some, some computer shenanigans, along with photography to create images that attempt at least to do that. So I, I made one about cell phones. So I, I got just a few cell phones um, from my cell phone guy in Atlanta and, uh, and piled them on my studio table and set my camera up facing straight down on them and took a picture of them and then stirred them around and took another picture and stirred them around again and took another picture and did that for a few days until I had hundreds of photographs of cell phones that were all focused the same, they were all lit the same, and so I could actually start digitally stitching them together into one giant photographic image that depicts the actual number of cell phones discarded in the United States every day. This is one day's worth of retired handsets, 426,000 handsets. The reason I use the word retire with handsets is because the vast majority of them aren't thrown out. And they also aren't recycled. They're just put away. It's kind of like when you get a new iPod. You don't throw out the old one because it's still cool. You just put it away somewhere. And that's, what, that's what's happening with hundreds of millions of cell phones that are just put away in drawers and boxes and stuff in people's homes. 